Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll be unboxing and doing a brief review of a robotic vacuum cleaner called iLife Robotic, robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Now I'd like to mention that this is not uh, Roomba Robotic Vacuum Cleaner which uh, goes around uh, $1,000. Uh, this is a cheaper version and uh, there are other cheaper robotic vacuum cleaners on the market which would range from uh, $300 to $500. So this robotic vacuum cleaner I have here, I bought it on sale from Amazon. Uh, I purchased with uh, my own money. So this is my uh, own review. No one paid for this review. And I'll be giving you uh, honest opinions and uh, I'll show you uh, the robotic vacuum cleaner. Now, the main price difference come uh, due to the fact that uh, the Roomba robotic vacuum cleaner has a navigation uh, visualization system which knows uh, which place you cleaned and it didn't. So it would just uh, clean uh, everything, uh, missing any spots. And uh, so it just knows what it's doing because it has that system and uh, it tells uh, the vacuum cleaner that uh, where to clean and where it has already finished cleaning. But this one I have here, uh, which is the iLife uh, robotic vacuum cleaner, doesn't have that sort of, uh, sort of navigation system, so it just cleans randomly. Uh, however, uh, it's uh, not a big deal uh, if you, you know, compare the price because it's uh, $250 and it's uh, $1,000, and it's still it can go back to its a uh, docking station or its a home when it uh, finishes uh, the cleaning and it has some other features which I'll mention uh, when I open the uh, box and uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing uh, because there will be more videos uh, coming up uh, just like the one you are watching right now and on this channel I do all sort of sorts of videos including travel videos financial videos and the videos you are just uh, looking at uh, today so let's uh, get at it and we'll start opening uh, the or unboxing the iLife robotic vacuum cleaner thank Hi you guys so let's start uh, with the unboxing we have uh, this box right here so this is the box although it looks like a little big comparing the price uh, the picture I saw online for the robotic vacuum cleaner but I have a feeling that uh, once I open the box, there's going to be another box and inside that uh, is going to be the iLife uh, Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. So we'll start from here. So we have some uh, wrapping our filling papers and let's put this aside and yes there's another box inside that box which is the vacuum cleaner itself and it looks like this way so what I'll do I'll set aside the big box and then we'll start with the small box so let's start from here okay actually there's another box inside this box so 
I'll just take out this box. So it looks like we're opening box after box after box. Okay, so this is looks like our final box and I'll just set aside that box and I'll just show you the sides of this box. So this is what it looks like. And it has just uh, some information here and so I see there's some information here I'll just read it to you uh, which mentions BLDC motor powerful section uh, I'm not sure what that BLDC means and then three step cleaning system ensures the through clean low profile high climbing and automatically docks and recharges so we'll just start opening this box right now and actually looks like there's something no I don't see anything so okay so I think I need to cut this one here okay I almost slipped okay so we have uh, this divider or protection right here I'm gonna just put it aside and then we have something here looks like uh, it could be a filter or just uh, uh, a packing uh, fill up I'm not sure I'll set it aside here and then we have some manual uh, quick start guide and user manual so it has all sort of information inside so which I'll just put it here for now and then here is the vacuum cleaner and I'll just show you the back of it which is this looks this way and I'll just leave it aside for now and I'll go through the other small accessories which came along with the vacuum cleaner so this one looks like a extra uh, brush for the vacuum cleaner and looks like two oh, two sets and this one here so just put it here and here we have a charging cable so this is going to be connected to the base station so just put it here and this one looks like some sort of filter and my guess would be that this is an extra set of filter most probably there is one already inside the vacuum cleaner so just put it here and then we have here the charging station or the base station so when the vacuum cleaner finishes its job or work then it's supposed to come back here attached to these uh, electrical charger or charging pieces to charge and I see there is a light here so most probably this is going to be lit once uh, it starts charging or finishes charging so this is what it looks like so I'll just put it here for now and then I see there's something else here okay so this is actually a remote control which is good to have I'll just open this up so here's what it looks like so it has play clock and clean home feature so it looks very simple which I like and on the back side of it there's nothing here and then the battery section is empty 
then we do have actually uh, batteries here uh, which will I will attach it uh, actually I can do it just now and let me just take a look if it's easy to open this up yeah it was not that difficult at all so I'll just put it here and I'll see what happens here okay so you can see some numbers here uh, clock play and I'll actually uh, set it up later on I'll just set it aside here for now so that's all in the box and I'll just uh, sit with the box for now here and let's start opening up the vacuum cleaner okay so here's what it looks like and I can see that there is something here let me take it out uh, no actually it doesn't look like I can take it out initially I was thinking it's a handle of some sort but it isn't and uh, there's a fill up here so let's take this out it has here please remove before use so I'll just set it aside and everything here so this is the back of the vacuum cleaner this is the brush which will be rolling when the vacuum cleaner uh, moves and these are the wheels and these brushes uh, I believe just to move the dust on front so it can go inside the or it can get sucked up by the vacuum cleaner and here's the rotating uh, wheel which would help the vacuum cleaner to maneuver and I'll just put it here and I'll see if there's any way I can open this I haven't used a robotic vacuum cleaner ever before so I don't know how it works but I see there's a button here and I don't know what it does uh, so my guess would be that there is not enough uh, charge in the battery and I have to go through the full charging before I start using this uh, vacuum cleaner so that's all for now what I'll do I'll charge this thing and then once I finish charging then I'll show you around how this thing maneuver or how it starts cleaning so give me a few minutes and I'll get back to you thank you for watching up to this point and uh, the, in the next part I'll show you how the vacuum cleaner does on carpet on on hard floor and throughout the condo thank you